Hey guys, welcome back. This is Miss Day. So I'd like to show you how to start the coil basket. So you can see here I have the coiling cord. Uh, so if you wanted to purchase some, this is what it looks like. Um, I've cut a section off here. Basically it's like a paper rope with um, some very lightweight material um, wrapped around it. So in order to start the coil basket, you'll need about um, two, two and a half arm lengths of yarn. You're going to uh, need to have your, your coiling material cut at an angle. We're going to lay the piece of yarn the little tail, we're going to lay it going the same direction. This is the same direction. Okay, and this seems counterintuitive. It's going to feel like we're going backwards, but we're not. So this is about, oh, uh, about two inches. You want to have about two inches here. And I'm, I'm holding it with my nail, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping over the coiling cord and the tail end of this piece of yarn. It's going to wrap back over itself. And I'm making sure that I don't leave any gaps. I don't want to see the coiling cord anymore. So I'm not overlapping the yarn, but I'm laying it right next to itself. And I know it feels like we're going backwards because in a way we are, but this is just how you start the basket. This is so you can get a nice center piece in the basket. This will be the bottom center of your basket. So you're going to stop with this little nub left here, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it back over to where um, you have wrapped the coil. We're going to even those up and we're actually going to now wrap the coil together. Okay, so I'm pressing these together and I'm going to continue to wrap right next to the wrap that I just did. Okay. Cover that up. And I'm going to keep wrapping down this coiling cord until I get to a position where I can fold this back onto itself. So I'm feeling like I'm getting pretty close here. Let's see. Okay, getting close, getting close. Keep going. Because what I want to do is I want to wrap and then stitch. So this is the only place where um, it's going to be way more wraps than stitches. So here I am. I'm finally to the, the position where um, I can do my stitch. I want my stitch to go through this coil, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and put my needle through that center piece. I'm going to loop, loop my yarn, stick that through the eye, pull my yarn through. Okay, and so I, I want you guys to do um, either three or four stitches, so there's one. I'm making sure that my yarn is right next to itself. Another stitch. So that's two stitches. Here, this will be my third. And I really like to do four stitches. So I'm going to do one more. Oops. Okay. 
So that's my fourth stitch. So if you can count those, you would see there's four stitches right across there. Okay. All right, so then um, I'm going to do 10 to 12 wraps, and then I'm going to do more stitches. So this first one, you usually have to kind of pull to get it to go right next to the stitch. So I'm pulling back. Okay. You want the, the yarn to be snug. You want it to be fairly tight. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now I'm going to do a stitch. So this is going to go through the center because that's it needs to go next to always you need to stitch always next to the coil that you're working on okay so there should only be two coils stitched together at any time only two all right so that was one stitch I'm holding it tight here's my second stitch you can see there that's two Okay, this is going to be my third, and number four. This is difficult. I know I'm probably making it look easy, but I've been doing this for years. Um, I've had lots of practice. So you may need to start and stop and redo, and that's completely normal. So there's two wraps, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, then turn. And I'm going to do a stitch through the center again. So if you just do a loop, it'll go through the eye very easily. My stitch. Pull it tight. You want this to be tight. You don't want your uh, basket to be loose. You want it to be able to hold, hold something. So you want to pull the yarn tight. There's my second stitch. Oh, I've got a piece of hair in here. Oh. Okay. Third stitch. Pull it tight. Fourth, and then it looks like I still see a hair. There we go. I've got my four stitches. So now I'm going to do my ten wraps. And remember, this first one you may have to pull back on it a little bit to get it to to fit snug up against those stitches. So there's two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and I can see here. Um, I, I don't want to interfere too much with this area, um, so I am going to actually do probably about twelve, so that I can get down here a little bit past this intersection to do my, my next set of uh, stitches. So I'm going to do a couple more wraps so I can get down here. Okay. And I'm getting close to running out of yarn. So here we go. Loop the yarn. So there's one. Two, I actually might run out of yarn here. Three, okay, so I was able to get my four stitches and it looks like I could probably get one wrap. And what we're going to do is um, 
we have this little tail and we're going to start our new piece of yarn so I'll just I'm just going to stay with the yellow for now so one two arm lengths so that it doesn't get all tangled up And what you want to do is you want to lay the two tails down together. So here's this tail, and here's my other tail from my new piece of yarn. Okay. So coil on this side, yarn on this side. So I'm going to hold these two guys together here, and I'm going to pick up right where I left off, and I'm going to wrap on top of them. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I can turn and do another stitch. Okay. It's a little tricky to, to hold at this point. Where's my needle? Here we go. Okay, and I've got, it looks like I started wrapping in the other direction, which it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure that you pay attention when you're stitching. Okay. All right, so that's going to be one. Two. three, and four. All right, so here we are back to doing the wraps. That first one, you kind of have to pull back on it to make sure you get snug up next to that stitch. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, there's my ten wraps, turn, and I want you to notice that we're now, um, oops, whoa, whoa, here we go, excuse me, um, we're not going, going to be, we're not going through the center anymore, okay, you only stitch two coils together at a time, all right, only two, so we're going to be coming up right here in this spot. Okay, we're going to be stitching these two together. So that's one stitch. There's two. Remember, you want to pull it tight. You want it to be strong. Three. This is the hardest part, getting this very center bottom part of the basket. This is the most difficult. Once you get past the center part and get into a rhythm, you should be able to um, move along pretty quickly on your basket. Okay, so there's my fourth stitch. Now I'm going to wrap. And I can see here that it's, it's um, I've ended up, I've got a few white spots in my yarn where you can see my coil. So I'm going to try to adjust for that when I go back around. I'm going to cover this one up. Um, you could also probably weave back through and cover up this section as well. So if that, you know, when you when that happens and you get a white gap, um, if you can go back and weave across it when you're pretty close, uh, it shouldn't be too noticeable. So like for example, okay, so my stitch comes out right there. I'm actually going to see if I can weave back through here and cover up that spot. Yeah, there we go. So I covered up that spot. And now I can just go back to where I was. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, 
that's really going to cover it nicely. Okay. So that's completely covered now. So I'm going to come right back up here where I was and pull that first one so that it gets down there snug. See, that's what happened here too. I didn't pull it down and get it snug enough. But when I come back around here, I'll fix that spot. Okay, so here's two, three, not overlapping the yarn, just putting it right next to itself. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, turn, and my stitches. They're no longer going in the center. They're going to the coil right next to the one that I'm working on. So it's going to come whoop, right through here. Okay, there's one stitch. Oops. Okay, let's come in for the second one. Two stitches. Let me go for number three. Three. And four. There we go. So pull back. You can get in close to that stitch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn. And you can see here that my next set of stitches is going to be right here. You don't ever want to interrupt um, your, your other set of stitches. So um, always try to go on, on either side of the stitches that you've already made. Um, it just looks better. It just ends up being a cleaner design. So I'm going to be coming right through here. And this is tight because I want my basket to be strong. So I'm going to loop the yarn. It goes through much easier when it's a loop. Okay, there's one stitch. Two stitches, three, uh oh, come on through, and my last one, four. Okay, so anywhere from ten to twelve wraps and three to four stitches. Good luck with your coil baskets.